Hello and welcome back. In this session, we're going to talk about fiscal years. So first, let's head into our Salesforce setup and open up fiscal years. So again, just head straight into your Salesforce setup. In the quick find section, you could type fiscal year or you could type company settings. Click fiscal year and you'll see we're now in the screen in which we can configure them. So before we start configuring them, let's first talk about what they do. Fiscal years affect all of your reports, all of your forecasts and your quotas and when using forecasting. And the way you can visualize that is when you're setting up filters or date ranges on any kind of reports, you'll see that you can set one of the settings as this FY, meaning this fiscal year. When we're talking about fiscal years, you have two options. You either have a standard fiscal year or a custom fiscal year. A standard fiscal year is based on the 12 month Gregorian calendar and runs for 12 months. So if you set it to start in December, it will run from the start of December through January, February, etc. and all the way through to the end of November. Now, what you can also do is set whether your fiscal year is based on the ending month or the starting month. If you was to set your fiscal year to be based on the starting month and we was to set this as December, and it's December 2021, that would make the fiscal year 2021 because we are starting it in 2021. However, if we was to set it as the ending month and therefore this fiscal year would end in November 2022, the fiscal year would be 2022 because that is the ending month. Now, the second option we have is a custom fiscal year. And one thing to remember about custom fiscal years is that once they are enabled, they cannot be disabled. They're used when a company doesn't follow the traditional 12 month Gregorian calendar. And once you enable them, you're given a set of templates that you could choose to best suit your company. If you do enable custom fiscal years and then need to revert back to a standard fiscal year, you can create a 12 month custom fiscal year and use that. So while it isn't the standard fiscal year as per Salesforce, it works in the same way. A couple of things to remember about fiscal years is that if you change the fiscal start month, then all of your quarter and adjustment information in forecasting is purged. Also, once custom fiscal years are enabled, they cannot be disabled. And also remember that fiscal years affect reports, forecasts and quotas.